In this video, I'm gonna show you brand new and updated shortcuts on Ableton Live 12, coming up. Yo, what's up y'all? I'm Ike Beats, welcome to this channel. Before we jump into this video, I'm gonna share all the new updates and changes on Ableton Live 12 in under four minutes, starting in three, two, one. I've been using Ableton Live for a while and over the years, I've been learning a lot what it can do for live performances and music productions. With Live 12, I've done some research and found some new things that's gonna help your workflow easy. You're welcome. With that being said, let's check them out. All right, first is whenever you want to record something through session view, just select any spot here you want to record into and you press Command, Shift, Fn, and F9, boom. Next, when you want your Ableton click on, or off, just hit O. Next, option three is clip view, and option four is device view. With Live 12, you can now open both clip and device view at the same time. So you hit command, option three and four, boom. To open up browser view, hit option five. And to open groove pool is option six. To find help view, press option seven. In a clip view, you can now fold to notes by hitting F. In whatever key you set on Live 12, you can now fold to scale by hitting G. And you can now see the notes that's within the scale. In addition to that, there's a new feature on Live 12 where you can highlight scales by hitting K and it'll show you the notes that's within the key, whether you're on scale mode or not. On the arrangement view, now you can open up the mixer from your session view. So you hit Option, Shift, M, Boom. Another way to open up your mixer in your arrangement view is to hit Command Option M and you can just close it as well. Now within the mixer controls, you can open and close your in and out, your sends, your returns, etc. So for example, by hitting Command Option I opens and closes the inputs. Command Option S are your sends and then Command Option R or your returns and the same goes for your session for your session view now that's out of the way let's talk about the new changes and updated shortcuts that Ableton made on live 12 before I do if you are enjoying what you're seeing in this video consider subscribing to this channel and press the like button clip editor modes when working on the clip view whenever you want to switch between notes envelopes and MPEs on Live 11, you hit option one, two, and three. On Live 12, you're adding the shift button to the shortcut. So one, two, three. When opening and closing your browser, on Live 11, you hit option command B. On Live 12, they changed it from B to five. And the groove pool on Live 11 was option command G. On Live 12, they changed from G to six. When you hit shift command F on live 11, it activates the follow, which is this button right here to, to automatically scroll while, you, while the, the timeline plays through. Now on live 12, they use that shortcut to find similar files from what you selected on the browser. Like for example, like this one, I select that one. Now the follow feature is now being moved from command to option. When working on a MIDI clip on Live 11, when you hit option one and option two, option one switches to the, the note mode or the note editor mode, and option two switches to envelopes mode. Now on Live 12, those two buttons, you can switch between session and arrangement view. You still have the tap button to switch between those, those two. All right, that is all I got for today. And I still got some time on the clock, so I'm just gonna let it run because I have nothing else to show you. Three, two, one. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video will help you get started on Ableton Live 12, because I am so I am so excited about this software. If I miss a few shortcuts, put them in the comments below. All right, y'all, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all, I keep saying y'all all the time, man. Y'all, y'all. Anyways. <laughs> oh, why? I keep doing, I, you know what? I keep doing this all the time, like, I don't like that. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Peace.